Johnny Rock and welcome to another episode of The Rock Says, where we follow the truth wherever it leads us. In today's episode, I'm going to call 666, The Mark of the Feast in the Belly of the Beast. And it's one of my most important videos in a series, and yet one of my most controversial. Now, some of you, after you see this, you're going to say, hey, Johnny Rock, you're crazy, you're nuts. Some of my friends are going to unfriend me. And that's okay, because at the point I am in my life, the only person's opinion that matters is the creator of the universe. And we're all just one heartbeat away from meeting the creator of the universe. So let's continue. I was born and raised in uh, the Bay Area in Northern California during the 60s, and life was simple and innocent back then. Uh, we had uh, Disney, the Magic Kingdom, I watched Batman, and we had shows on uh, TV such as I Dream of Genie, uh, Bewitched, uh, The Addams Family, and The Munsters, and so forth. And um, things were, life was, was, uh, was good. Uh, but then we seemed to enter a helter-skelter vortex. Uh, we kind of slid down a rabbit hole through uh, the Vietnam War and through Watergate and all these other things going on in the planet uh, as I discovered uh, adult life. And um, I'll fast forward to the 80s, I think, where things really kind of changed quite a bit. It was with the advent of cable TV and with digital and uh, uh, CDs. And one of the artists in videos that really uh, pushed uh, MTV into the upper stratosphere was uh, Michael Jackson's Thriller. And as you recall, in that video, in the Halloween video, uh, basically at the end, Michael all along is secretly is a, uh, is, is basically a... A werewolf! And uh, so that kind of really opened up a whole new world for a lot of people to uh, explore it with... Um, the uh, Hollywood and with uh, TV shows, he started getting into vampires, werewolves, zombies, and uh, witches, warlocks, and mutants, aliens, extraterrestrials, and uh, all kinds of superheroes and the occult and and uh, just a lot of just just paranormal things. And so for a lot of us, uh, that was just kind of a whole new world. A brave new world. So I moved to LA in 1990, almost 30 years ago, to continue my musical path. And over the years, things have really changed a lot. You know, a lot of the celebrities and musicians and, and Hollywood, they, they started doing things differently. They started doing a lot of Illuminati imagery. You know, they would, they would do pyramids and they would, they would uh, signal 666. That's a six three times. Uh, they would. Uh, throw down the goat, the Baphomet, and they would also do the uh, all-seeing eye thing, and uh, just a lot of occultic, a lot of Illuminati type of images. It just kind of makes you wonder, doesn't it? And it's no surprise because it's, uh, it's what the universe is filled with, uh, especially uh, symbols, signs, numbers, uh, and measurements. I'll give you an example. Let's talk about the magic number six. It's a magical and super number because you can turn it upside down. You know, as above, so below. And so uh, six becomes a nine, nine becomes a six. And uh, this uh, number is all throughout um, our, our creation. And I think about a circle, it's a 360. Uh, think about time, the most important thing in your life because you can get uh, more money but you don't get more time. So let's think about this, okay? 
uh, in six days God creates uh, everything and then he takes uh, the seventh day off. So, regarding time, we got 60 seconds in a minute, 60 minutes in an hour, 24 hours in a day, that's 2 plus 4 is 6, and 365 days in a year. Except we have a leap year, so you round it up, so that uh, rounds up to 366. Coincidence? Think about this. There's a lot of uh, folks that are, that are atheists, or you're skeptics, or you're going, ah, I don't believe all this biblical apocalyptic uh, revelations, 666, mark of the beast, and uh, you know, numbering every, uh, every person on the planet to buy or sell. Do you know you're already living it in a prototype, in a test run? You don't even know it. Shall we continue? Yes, let's do. Uh, to If you live, in, at least in the United States, you got to have a social security number. If you want to get a job and get taxed and, and get in the system and get your social security benefits. So, uh, on your social security number, Let's think about this for just a moment. Uh, you have three digits and then a hyphen, two digits, hyphen, four digits, okay? So right now, write down your social security number on a piece of paper. Go ahead. I double dog dare ya. All right? Now what's the highest number you can put in a, any a field? Uh, basically it's a nine. Because once you get to past 9, it goes to 10, which is a 0 and a 1. It goes to the next field. So in each field, the highest number you can go is 9. So insert 9 in the field. 9, 9, 9. 9, 9. 9, 9, 9, 9. How many 9's do you have? You have 9, 9's. All right. Now take that number... Turn it upside down. Tell me what you got. 666, 666, 666. Bam! Oh! It ain't rocket science, children. Because then, after you go to work, you get a paycheck. And the only way you can get your money, for most of us, unless you work for cash, cash under the counter, is you go to the bank. So you got to write down your, you sign your name and you write down your bank account number. Just three digits, dash, two digits, dash, four digits. Let's do the math. Nine, 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 nine. Flip it upside down. What you got? Six, 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 six. Hello, tell them what you want, Johnny. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. But there's more. There's always more, because you know, all these artists and people that you uh, see on TV, they're always talking about God and how they pray. Here's the question, are they praying to uh, the God of Genesis, uh, Elohim, who reveals himself to Moses as Yahweh, I am that I am, uh, revealed in the flesh as Jesus, uh, Yeshua, the Christ, the Messiah, or are they talking about this God that they trust in, and is this the um, is this the all-seeing eye of God in the Trinity, or is it the Egyptian pyramid with the all-seeing eye of Horus? Huh. And what does this say here? Novus Ordo Seclorum, New Order of the Ages. That sounds familiar. Where have I heard that one before? You know, I actually uh, recently got a uh, one of these uh, jury uh, summons for jury service, and uh, I want you to know uh, it gives a jury ID number. Can you guess how many digits are in there? Nine. Interesting, and you know the funny. If you look at these numbers here, there's a nine, there's a nine, there's a four and a five equals a nine. There's a six. There's an 8 and a 1, that's a 9, and a 3. Do I see a pattern here? And then what's my uh, pin number? Uh, it's, uh, well, I see a 6, I see a 6, I see a 2 and a 7, that equals a 9. That's interesting, I think I'll call them. Oh, let's see, I got a 9, 
I got a 2 and a 7 is a 9, and a 9, and a 3, and a 2 and a 1 is a 3. You know, I'm getting a lot of 9's, 6's, and 3's, kind of like a 6, 6, 6. Oop. Shaking it up here. Woohoo! Oh my, oh my. How does you love me now? Oh, but there's more. I'm just getting warmed up. So are you ready for the heavy? Yeah. Yeah, I think you are. Well, let's think about uh, one of the biggest events that happens in the world, and that's the Halftime Super Bowl show. Think about the artists that have been there in more recent years. Uh, we had Madonna, we had uh, Katy Perry, we had Beyonce, we had Gaga, and uh, notice all these artists, they, they, they throw a lot of Illuminati symbols and themes into their shows. Illuminati, what does that stand for? Let's see, um, could it be the enlightened beings? Uh, similar to the word uh, Lucifer, the light bearer, the bearer of light. Similar to uh, Luke Skywalker with his lightsaber using the force. I see, I see, I see. And uh, there's more. There's always more because to buy or sell nowadays, uh, now you're getting the chip, right? And what does the chip do? Well, the chip goes up to the cloud. And uh, pretty soon you won't need hard drives, you won't need your computer, you just have this virtual reality, this consciousness. You'll be virtual people. And uh, your signals will be transmitted to these little amplifiers in your neighborhood. Uh, they're, they're doing them in mine now, in Santa Monica. And every 500 feet they have these amplifiers. And basically, uh, we're at 5G now. Uh, the the old uh, phones used to be 4G, but now we're 5G. I wonder what the next step will be. Could it be 6G or 60G? Just uh, coincidentally, of course. And uh, what do these things do? Um, well, 4G used to work at uh, 1200 uh, megahertz. The uh, 5G works at 2400 megahertz, or 2450, hmm, 2 plus 4 equals, well, you know. And anyway, what is the effect of that? Well, we're 90% water, oh, there's a 9. And uh, so basically, uh, these things, you know, we, you put food in your microwave so it cooks it up. Can you imagine what these transmitters at uh, 2450 megahertz, you know, what, the, what kind of effect that has on us long term? And think about your children. Think about the children, especially young girls running around with their little cell phones, going home to Wi-Fi. They go to school and there's routers. They go to clubs. They go to um, uh, you know, or, or they go to stores. They go to places that all have wireless all over the place. What effect does that have on those eggs as they get older, over 20 or 30 years? When you start seeing birth defects, you start seeing uh, if, uh, if infertility. Think about those effects, you know. Some crazy stuff is coming down. And then, uh, of course, eventually, the, why have the chip when you can just have a mark on the forehead or the right hand? How about that? How you like them apples, huh? Yeah, I like that dance, smarty pants. But there's more. Tell them what you're going to win, Johnny. Well, think about 9-11. I have a very personal connection to 9-11 because basically on 9-9 Sunday, this is a couple days before, in 2001, performing at the Whiskey in Hollywood, I did my usual end of performance, fly off the stage as I normally would do. And uh, with strobe lights and them cutting the lights at the end of the last song, I flew into darkness, <whistles> landed wrong, and uh, shattered my right leg, uh, right foot, uh, about in six places, if I'm not mistaken. Well, anyway, I had a front row seat at home uh, watching the TV when 9-11 happened. Now think about 9-11. 
think about 11 years before 9-11 on 9-11-1990. Look this up on YouTube if you don't believe me. I ain't making this stuff up. George Herbert Walker Bush, Big Daddy Bush, made a speech before we went after Saddam Hussein with those thousand points of light. And he talked about the new, new world order. Think about that. And 11 years later, September 11th, 2001, what happened? Was it an accident? And how about 11 years later on September 11th, 2012, we had Benghazi, Hillary? Interesting, another situation where we take out the, uh, basically the dictator of a country who has gold, who has a stable monetary system. Uh, so we took out Gaddafi and it created instability, collapsed their money system, collapsed the uh, money system in Iraq, the dinar, and basically uh, created chaos. Now we got all kinds of different, uh, you know, we've got Al Qaeda. ISIS and Hezbollah and all the Muslim Brotherhood and all kinds of people just going crazy. Think about it. Coincidence? 